is going to be equal to 3 each time, and y is going to be equal to 2 each time. So I just pop those into the equation. So I have 5 times 3, and I have 4 times 2. And I go, I start, this is the order of operations, right? There's no brackets. So then I go multiplication and division first from left to right. So I'm going to go, this is 15 now, plus... I'm going to do this one next, 8, and then I add them together. Okay, so I would like you to pause and do this one by yourself here, and then come back. So I have 6 times x, which is 3 minus 2 times 2. And then we start from the left, and we go to the right multiplication first. So I'm going to do 6 times 3 first, which is 18, and that's minus 2 times 2, which is 4. And then I subtract those, which is going to be 14. Okay, so... This question here, these two questions are going to be a little unique. I want you to do both of the questions and then come back because we're going to have a, well, we're going to analyze it. Well, I'm going to analyze it by myself, but I want you to think about these two questions and compare them to each other. So I have three times five plus four times two. So this is going to be 15 plus 8, okay, which is going to be 23. Okay, so over here I have 4 times 2 plus 3 times 5. And this is going to be 8, and this is going to be 15, and this is going to be 23. Now my question for you that I want you to try to figure out is why... Are these questions, why do they come out to the same answer when X and Y were different? Okay, so I'm hoping that you notice that we're multiplying the same numbers. So even though um, the questions are in different order, this is 4X and this is 3Y and this is 3X and 4Y, these ones switched around as well. So we ended up multiplying the same numbers together. And that's why they came up with the same answer. All right, so we're going to stop here and you're free to go and do the worksheet. Please, please, please come to the help session if this is from the video didn't make sense.